Chapter 5. Is the Paleo Diet Right for the Whole Family? If you're someone who is looking at starting a paleo plan of eating and would like the whole family to join in the fun, but don't know whether it's right or not, then you are not alone. This question has been asked many times, and in this chapter we will attempt to navigate our way through it. Firstly, before you even approach your family and try to convince them to go on a paleo diet, you need to bear a few things in mind. Firstly, as we have covered, the paleo diet is not an easy diet. There are many restrictions, such as no consumption of sugar, processed foods, artificial additives, etc. Secondly, it's not just a diet. It's an entire lifestyle change. You will not be able to go to a party or gathering and eat what you want because not many people prepare food according to paleo requirements. Even restaurants and expensive eating establishments may not prepare food in a paleo manner. That basically means you will have to bring your own food to a party. Thirdly, most comfort foods are excluded from the paleo diet simply because they contain sugar, dairy, or some ingredient that is not allowed in the paleo diet. So how are you going to convince your spouse and kids to give up all their favorite foods and eat like a caveman? The process itself may seem like you're at a United Nations convention trying to get opposing countries to sign a multilateral agreement. The best way to go about it would be to do it in stages. Don't try to go from zero to paleo hero overnight. Yes, it is beneficial, and yes, it is an excellent idea. But you will need to give your family time to adjust, adapt, and assimilate. In the beginning stages, make one meal a paleo meal. It could be breakfast, throw out the sugary cereals and milk. Replace those with bacon fried in coconut oil, scrambled eggs, and a glass of fresh fruit juice. Get a recipe book full of delicious recipes and tempt your family members with tasty paleo meals. The key is to make them feel like they are not sacrificing delicious food for a paleo diet. Your excitement and interest, as contagious as they may be, might not be enough to sway your family from tucking into that tub of macadamia nut ice cream. Also, try not to get too preachy and stop yourself from standing on a paleo pedestal and shaking your head at their poor food choices. Exercise tolerance and slowly swing them over to your side. Of course, your family may say, Yay! Let's all get on the paleo diet and eat beef liver tonight! Highly unlikely, but if it does happen, good for you. Otherwise, follow the earlier advice. It is a fantastic idea to get your family on the paleo diet because it is extremely healthy. You will be less prone to obesity, allergies, aches and pains, etc. In the long run, your entire family will benefit from the paleo diet. So, it is worth pursuing and persuading. Have tolerance, or your spouse may divorce you and let you have full custody of the chicken feet and bison tail that are happily sitting in the freezer. The key to convincing them will be to become an excellent cook. Invest in a good paleo recipe book and hone those cooking skills of yours. Do focus on the desserts. Most people find it extremely difficult to give up the sweet foods. Do not use the paleo diet as a crutch to cook unpalatable dishes. It is perfectly possible to whip up mouth-watering paleo dishes. Once you can do that, it is half the battle won. Work on yourself, then work on your family. There are many families on the paleo diet. This goal is within reach. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.